Welcome back to another Micro Soldering Wednesday. My name is Derek and today I'm going to show you how to replace this speaker in an AirPod Pro. So let's get into the video. All right, so I've got some AirPod Pros. This is the first gen. The left ear speaker works perfectly. The right one has this really distinct crackle. It's really annoying to listen to, especially on high volumes to the point where it's really annoying. The issue in this case is the speaker. So today I'm gonna to walk you through my step-by-step -step on how to do it. So let's get started. All right, so we got some AirPod Pros and when we listen to them, this speaker sounds good. This speaker sounds extremely choppy. You can make that out. It's very buzzy. It has this buzzy sound where this one's nice and clear and loud. So this one works really good. This one's not working, and it's not like it's clogged or anything. It's the actual speaker that's gone bad. And just so you can see, that's they're clean. There's a little bit of earwax on the outside here, but the mesh is nice and clean on both. So it's not an issue there. It's an issue inside here. Here's what a new speaker looks like. I'm going to show you how I replace it. We're going to be using this jig. It slides in there, clamps on down. That way this doesn't go anywhere and we can work with we can work with it right there where that seal is. I find it easiest to clamp in the middle one here and apply it heat to the AirPod so that I can break the seal without melting the plastic. All right, so we'll carefully heat it up. You can see the gap starting to form down there. Now I've got my temperature at 160 degrees Celsius. As you can see, my fingers are right here. Like it's, it's nothing crazy hot to where my fingers can't even be in the way. It's warm, don't get me wrong, but spin this guy around. There we can let the heat off and lift it up just like that. We'll go ahead and uh, remove this top piece just to make this easier on us. We'll lift up the flap there. Sometimes these are really glued in. But this one isn't glued in at all. So we'll set this aside. Now the next step is dealing with all of this glue that we can have access to what we need to. So I'm just going to lift this out. All right, so we'll carefully pick out the adhesive here without stabbing into any of the cables kind of like a silicon you slowly pull on it it'll tends to want to come out do it slow enough all in one piece otherwise it'll tear into a bunch of different pieces get out a different pair of tweezers that i can roll with a little bit better and wrap up the adhesive in the tweezers not to mess with the sticker too much on the back of the battery and slowly but surely you can pull on the adhesive Roll it up and it'll all come out. All right, now we're gonna desolder the speaker. There's a couple ways to do this. We're gonna use some wick, some flux, and put a little bit of flux on the two solder joints. Get our iron and our wick, and we're gonna just suck up a little bit of the solder there. And then we'll lift the flex off like that. You can just heat up the flex and pull it off and have the solder stay. But it's easier for me to wick out the holes now because we're going to need the, the, the new speaker to go through that. All right, now we will carefully lift the battery off, making sure not to strain this cable here. We could desolder it if we really wanted to. Oh, and a little bit of adhesive that I left on this side is holding us back. Let me try to get that off. All right. It's just a little bit of adhesive holding on here. There we go. We'll fold that guy out. We'll grab onto this adhesive. And pull on it. Our goal is to release this plastic clip that goes around. All right. Okay, using that guy to help get the adhesive. Now, we'll see if this guy wants to come out or not. It's still holding on somewhere. We'll just need to pry it out from all the spots where it's still stuck. 
and then it should want to come out just like that now we'll carefully lift out the speaker Now we're gonna get out a Q-tip and add some isopropyl alcohol. And we're gonna clean thoroughly the area. Now we'll get out our brand new speaker. And push it down inside till it clicks. Lift off that guy. Now we'll turn our tension the plastic piece really want to give it a nice cleaning all right so I'm gonna get out some cold press we're gonna put a little bit down there in the bottom where the plastic like to hold on to it not a lot just a little bit like that and we'll set our plastic back in place and we'll get it to kind of click on back down and now we're gonna do the exact same that the factory did by doing a bead around the speaker there Making sure it's nice and sealed. And I'm gonna do this all the way around any place that connects the two chambers there. We'll add more later, but this is just a nice thin one that's gonna go around all the plastic gap, just like that. And then I'll put a tiny little dab on top of the speaker there so that we can gently put it back the, the battery cell. All right, now we're going to get out some solder and get out our iron. All right, so I pinned that one in place. I'll go ahead and push down on the flex and let it sink down a little deeper. Add some solder to the second one. Okay, get some isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to clean up the flux and we are nearly done well, turning our attention over here you can see there's a built up of earwax around the perimeter i'm going to take a second and clean that up the earwax will prevent the adhesive from making a good seal so we really want to remove it just like that oh we missed a spot <laughs> All right, so we'll take this back over and we'll connect up the flex again. All right, so we'll slide in the ZIF connector here. Make sure it's in all the way. And once that's in all the way, we can close the latch down. And then we can close it on up. And I'm going to take the time to go around the border and spread some adhesive. So we can get that nice, we can get it nice and closed up. All right, so we'll close up this gap here. And then we'll close it up on this side too. All right, so we'll get some isopropyl alcohol. And we'll go around and really clean up the, the seal there. And boy, under magnification, do you, <laughs> do you see everything? This won't look so discolored in person we'll just take our time to really clean it all right so there we've got the speaker replaced you can see it's you can see i closed up the gap there pretty nicely now for the test all right so you can listen to the left one that was good and here's the right one that we just fixed Left one, right one, much better. Right one.
Right one. Much better. All right, so here we go. Got it all working again, sounding great. In fact, the right one now sounds maybe even better, or maybe, or maybe it's just me, than the left one. If this video was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. Subscribe for more future videos like this. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you'd like to see in a future video. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.